Hello and welcome to day one of the basement footings for the Earth Sheltered Umbrella Home. To see the excavation steps, click here or here. The crew from Dicer Concrete arrived on site around noon. They decided that Sherry and I had done a great job with the stakes, within a quarter inch, so they used them directly and started forming in a few minutes. They brought 12 inch lap siding for the curved portions of the form and 2x12s for the straight parts. Doug brought his copy of the plans and we referenced it regularly. Doug had to leave partway through the afternoon for another appointment, which left me responsible for the layout. I had made several mistakes that I realized right after the boards were cut and nailed into place. Some could be easily undone, such as the East Pier, where I just cut a board too long for where I intended it, but it still fit perfectly in the next spot. Other mistakes were not worth fixing, and we just added a little volume to the piers. When I slowed down, I made less mistakes. In total, I figure my errors only added about 4 cubic feet to the 18 cubic yards needed for the footing. That's like less than 1%, so not too bad. The northeast side of the site, in the top right corner of the scene but mostly off camera, was not excavated far enough and the guys had to try to dig it out. I ended up redigging it numerous times. Uh, they were putting it in the wrong place and I kept caving in on itself. It became a laugh so you don't cry sort of thing. But we managed to get the last footing in and everyone left by 5 p.m. Let's switch to an end of the day video. And here's the site. And over here towards the east is where the, the bedrooms will go. And there you can see all the rest of our lot. There's a lit pond in those woods. It's a kind of nice area. Kind of wrecked by these giant balls of dirt. The birds are singing everywhere and there are swallows nesting in the walls of the sand. I have to disrupt them so they don't get too comfortable there. It's like the surface of the moon instead of the nice rolling hills. It's the big digger that did the damage. Let's go jump down inside the pit for a quick little walkthrough. The laser level that Doug brought was not working, so we just put the forms in for now. And we'll need to come back next week to level them and add the literal ton of rebar to these two foot wide footings. Actually the center ring here is three foot wide. Uh, for that video, you can click here. At the end of this line is one of those toes that the building inspector had, a, had us add to the plans. Uh, here's another one. They hold up uh, pilasters that are going to support the doubled main slab footings. Well, this curve around toward the east. So up here, there on the right. And on the left here is that circle where the guys were digging out this whole corner. swallow nests up on that side. Oh, we got it done. This is actually like a window well, because this is the basement window down here. More piers. The piers are going to hold those big concrete precast ribs that I'm making. Here's a step toward the bedrooms. Thanks for following along. We'll pick it up Monday with adding rebar level on these forms.